The participants do their exercises on the training field. And in the end, there is an exam. Oh, wow. Cool, a training field exercise. Yeah, that's cool indeed. Is it on the training field? I guess only boys are allowed there. No, Vera, the rules are for everybody. It is written right there on the board. Didn't you see, Vera? So everybody means everybody. Well, then we are everybody, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, where is he? Ethan, don't worry. George will be here real soon. He's just a little late, okay? He's just a little late. He oh is always dear. late. Shouldn't you be Ugh. at your dressmaking class? What do you think you're doing here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, my mom won't let me go unless I finish my meal. Well then, did you finish it? Oh yeah. See you on the training field then. Sam Sparky, the rules are as follows. Passing is prohibited where the restricting sign and a semaphore signal say no. Oh. All right, my friends. You have to complete the main assignment. You should reach the river and get across it. But you should not use the big bridge. It is not suitable for children. Private Sam Sparky requests permission to speak. My brave Sam Sparky. The squad wants to know how to find the shortest way. I gave a map to each squad, so use it to find the shortest way. That's weird. According to the map, there has to be a city here. And we should be standing on a street. Yeah, but we're standing in a swamp. Wah! You're holding the map upside down, Arnold. Oh, the swamp. Oh, I'm sinking in. Oh, help me. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, uh, pull me out, please. Help me. The assignment says a bridge. Is that right? Yeah, this is the bridge. The bridge is forbidden to use. We should find a bypass. <laughs> Suddenly, a band of savages came out of the jungle. <laughs> Where is Arnold? <laughs> Did you eat him up? <laughs> <laughs> well, Arnold stood behind. He got stuck. And it's all my fault. Sam Sparky, we are friends. A true friend would never fail a friend when he needs help. Let's go and find Arnold first, and then complete the assignment together. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I shall stay up here in case Arnold shows up. Uh, Arnold, you got out. Hooray! What? Where? Uh, here's the river I see. <laughs> I'm getting across to be the first one. I'm ready to go. Arnold, hold it. Where are you going? The bridge is dangerous. <laughs> No. Congratulations. Both squads were excellent in completing the assignment. Well, George distinguished himself in action. And so now, you understand the seriousness and the importance of the safety rules here on the railroads. Hey, friends, press to subscribe and watch the new episodes. <laughs> I can't understand it. Such a good teacher like yourself having such a badly behaved son? We didn't know. Well, you should have known that. The railroad is no playground. It's very dangerous. Especially if you're clinging to moving wagons. 
That's dangerous for everybody, not just kids. And this time they got away with a scratch. But next time they could get seriously injured. I... I think it's time to go. Goodbye! What's wrong with you? How could you do that? Now go home. Your father will have a talk with you later. What's going on? Did they go and play on the railroad again? I told him a million times. And I assure you that we studied all the safety rules in class over and over again. Safety rules, you say? Mm-hmm. I see. Well, it's time to study the unsafety rules, then. Just trust me. <laughs> Children, I need your help now. We are all going to teach someone the unsafety rules. Huh? Yeah. Oh, those adults. They always worry and for nothing. Arnold, wake up! Don't fall asleep! Our adventures are waiting! Hey, George, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Wanna go with me where I've been yesterday? Yeah, but first tell me where you were yesterday! Playing on the railroad. It's so cool. I broke something when I played there, but the doctor says in two years I'll be fine. Can you three help me and push me to the railroad? Because I can't go by myself anymore. Hmm. No. It's too early for you. It's just too bad he played on the railroad, eh? Huh? Oh, hey guys. Do you like our new look? You know, now I have to go out in two separate parts. Can you imagine that? Huh? But what happened to you guys? Oh, nothing much. We were clinging on to Grandpa Billy when all of a sudden he reversed. I'm telling you, it was great fun. Yeah, it hurts a bit, but they say that someday the pain may pass. Is it fun or what? Yeah, I can't stop laughing. Hey, maybe can we go to the library instead oh, of that? no. Uh, we had some plans, remember? Vera, you were a very good girl. Playing on the railroad is what it's all about. Yes, Mother. And now the joy is tearing me apart. <laughs> uh, w where was it that we wanted to play on? Mm, well, now I changed my mind. So, how do I get to the library? Turn left at the corner. Good work, everyone. <clears throat> I think that they finally got the point. It was much easier than making our dad stop snoring at uh, To begin with, here is the road traffic safety guide, and we'll start with the signs first. Hey, right? uh, can I be the first to read it? Hey, tell me something. What are these grave faces for? Where are you going, huh? Ha! Heading to the library or what? Hey, guys. Now we're studying for a quiz about safety rules. As a matter of fact, the lesson is today. Want to come with us? Come with you to study? I hate studying. It's way too boring. All the more for that safety rules nonsense. I know how to use the fire cartridge. What I know is enough, right? Oh. Uh-huh. It's boring. You'd fall asleep. Ah, uh, yeah, it's boring. You'd fall asleep. You would. Well, whoever wants to go and waste their time may go and study without me. And we are going to play now. Do whatever you please. Off you go, all. Look at me, I'm a rocket. I'm the speediest of all. And I, and I, I can go even faster. Watch me! And I have a blaster and I can go pew, pew, pew. Awesome. Let's go on the big railroad and play oh. there. Oh no, but it's You coward. Why don't you go and play in a playground with babies? All right. Let's go then, but not too far, okay? Awesome! Just look at these wagons! 
Oh, there must be a million of them. Come on. A train cannot possibly be that long. Less than a billion. That's for sure, I believe. Oh, how do we get over to the road? Oh, let's creep under the wagon. <gasps> ah, what do you mean? Crawl under the uh, wagon? No way. You must not creep under wagons. It's very dangerous. It's dangerous for you, Arnold. For you. Not dangerous for me. <gasps> uh, ah! Hey, come on. Really, cowards. You're so funny, guys. Why did you shut your eyes? Oh, there were trillions of wagons. I thought they'd never end, I swear. I swear I did. Hey, guys, I was so terrified that I think I lost some weight. <gasps> when I grow up, I'll be carrying wagons. Just like these. And Arnold will get so fat that he will have to be towed himself. <laughs> <sighs> or pushed from behind, huh? I'll be speeding, of course, and Arnold will go like, Hey, Sam Sparky, where are you uh, going? Wait for me. Uh, hey, what was that? Why am I moving? Why am I moving? Oh! Hey, Sam Sparky, uh, where are you going? Wait for me! Switch yourself off the wagon! Switch yourself off the wagon! Oh, no, I can't! The lock is jammed! Where is Sam Sparky? Uh, 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 tell me what's happened. Oh. Uh, uh, Sam Sparky, he is, uh, well, he's traveling. Where is he traveling? We don't know, actually. We've never asked him. I think he's far away. Hey, there he is, look. Here. <sighs> Here is your runaway. The train had to make an emergency stop because of him. How could you defy the safety rules after I taught them to you so carefully? Now remember, children, a railroad is not a place for playing games. Please forgive me, officer. I will never do that again, I promise. We will never, never do that, that. please! Oh, please! please. We promise! Oh, all right. But this is the last time. Well, what do you say, guys? Are you going with us to study for the safety rules quiz that's coming up soon? Isn't it too late, Wendy? <laughs> it would have been too late if you had been gone for good, huh. but you came back. <laughs> Ethan. It's too late. Time to go to bed. Aw, please, Mom, please. Just let me read one more page, Mom. The mighty hero. Hey, are you at home, good sir? What do you want, good lady? Oh, good sir, there has been a great disaster. What, was a barn burnt out again? No, not a barn. The three-headed fire dragon has eaten all the harvest. I see now. Wait, let me go ask my mom if I can go fight the dragon right now. Yes. Get on your way, good lady. I'll go and bring two fellow heroes with me as soon as I can. After all, we're called the three mighty heroes. Quite a big dragon this one is. Let's strike him with a club while he's asleep. Maybe he'll fly away in fear. Who is going to strike with a club then? Oh well, we woke him up and now we'll have to fight him. Hey dragon, come face us in a fight. We'll have no mercy for you. No mercy. And who are you exactly? Listen, I really can't see you well at all. We are the three mighty heroes. Hey, actually, we are two heroes and one heroine. Oh hi guys, I'm here. Oh look, it's him. He ate everything while we were asleep. Don't bother whispering. I can hear everything. Hey, are you spitting on us or what? What? Oh, help! A fire! Ah, uh, take that! Oh, oh, oh it hurts! Oh, oh, oh take that! Oh, well, all right oh, then. I guess we'll be going. Have a great that. weekend. Oh, Dragons say to each other, "Make oh, friends, make oh, friends, never, oh, never break friends." Here. Okay then. The dragon is taken care of. 
Let's go and give a ticket to the witch for polluting. That's true. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Have any of you seen the golden fish around here? Well, she owes me one thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's a poacher, guys. Take charge of him. Come on. Oh, look there. Cinderella is right behind you. What? Where? Where? Where's Cinderella? What a fraud he was, guys. Who could expect this from a graybeard? Little cabin, could you turn your face to us? Your back is to the forest. Oh dear, but this is my face. I just don't look so good today. Shoo! <laughs> I've got the flu. Forest witch, come out and surrender. You can't hide away from us. We can see your wooden legs stretching out of the window. Oh dearie me. She doesn't live here anymore. She moved out yesterday, actually. <laughs> it isn't the witch's leg, it's Pinocchio's leg. He's living here now instead of her. Oh dear, no, we're late again. It must be Sleeping Beauty sleeping. Let's wake her up. Because with her snoring, she won't let anybody else sleep for a long time. Who is the Sleeping Beauty here? <laughs> I'll show you the Sleeping Beauty. Who would have known it was a giant? They all snore like anyway. Qua, qua. Hey, that's my arrow. I've been looking all over for it. Do you speak froggies? How can I tell her? Why is she winking at me? <clears throat> my dearest, uh, qua, qua. His arrow, qua, qua, is mine. Thank you so much, qua, qua. Oh, my Prince Charming, my beloved fiancé. Hey, I want a fair princess too. Ethan, Ethan, are you asleep? Ethan! Tell me, are you asleep, sweetie? Oh, where is my fair princess? Oh! <laughs> hey, friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. Welcome to Train Town. Here we drink hot fuel for breakfast, and it's all about trains, rails, and adventures. Come play with us here in Train Town. Hi there. Here you are, Vera. What are you doing here? The flowers. On the other side. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful they are. They're amazing. Mm. Hey, George. You're the smartest one here. Maybe you know why there are no such beautiful flowers on this side. This is the mystery of nature. Is it an unsolvable mystery of nature, George? Scientists have been working on that for a long time. But for now, uh, there's no answer. Too bad. I dreamt to have a bouquet of those beautiful flowers one day. Red, yellow... Blue flowers and violet ones. Why do girls love flowers so much? It's strange. Ethan, let's go. Hmm. Huh? Hey, George, I really, really want to pick those flowers for Vera. But how? I will jump over the river. Hmm? Huh? It's called a springboard. A springboard? Yes, that's right. I will go up and land on the other side of the river. It's risky, but my mind's made up. George, what are you doing? Ethan, I remembered. There's a bridge already that goes over the river. Why didn't you tell me about it? The bridge is very old, and it's very dangerous to use it. Okay, well, where is it? It's not a good idea. Hey! Ethan, let's not do this. Don't be afraid, George. I'm a small train, and the bridge will hold. At least I think so. Oh! I didn't think that Ethan was so brave. I didn't. Now, that's not what I would call bravery. Well, can't you see how unstable it is? Huh? I would never do it in my life. Uh, I'm sure this is the bouquet uh, for Vera. She'll be uh, so glad to have it, I'm sure. Uh, hey, Arnold, come back. Uh, You're not the only one who's brave, Harry. Thank you, Ethan. It's fine.
fine. You would do the same if you were me, Arnold. I'm sure of it. Sure, but you lost the bouquet because of me. Never mind, it's okay. I'll pick some more. How can you do that when the bridge is broken? I know, but Arnold is ashamed anyway. And I said that so he wouldn't feel so guilty. He feels bad enough as it is. Ethan, George, look at my hmm? beautiful bouquet. It's made of flowers from the other side of the river. Where did you find it? I was sitting by the river, and the flow brought it right to my side. I guess someone made this bouquet and accidentally dropped it into the river. Mm -hmm. oh. Now I believe that all dreams sometimes come true. Ethan. Yeah? I wanted to tell Vera that it was you who made the bouquet. What for? Why does she need to know who made it for her or if it was or wasn't made for her? Her dream came true and that's what's important. Hey friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. Awesome movie! With the sword cut in half, then he was alive again! I was on the edge of my seat. He sat through the whole movie with his eyes shut. He didn't see a thing, I swear. No, no, I wasn't! I heard everything. <gasps> oh, look, old Billy's house is like the Black Castle in the movie. <gasps> what was that? I can hear someone is snarling. And it's definitely not a steam engine. It's as if somebody is creeping up on a victim. Creeping up on a victim? Ah! So Grandpa Billy changes into a monster every moonlit night, just like this tale says right here. What kind of monster can you check up and learn about? It's important. Well, it doesn't actually say here, but it sounds horrible and dangerous. Very dangerous. Poor old Billy. It's because he's so lonely, I guess. But what if we're wrong about it? There's only one way to check up our theory, guys, and I think I got it. <laughs> guys, I say we wait until the full moon comes out. And then we'll just... What, what will happen then? Well, surely, then he'll come out and eat you up. That's what. Why me? It could be you. I helped Grandpa Billy water his flowers and you didn't, you know. George, why did you bring a bucket of water? I heard that, or rather I read in a book that if you water them, they become friendlier. That's it. Guys, the moon is out now. Soon, Grandpa Billy will turn the lights off, and then... Arnold, put the bucket down. I was only holding it, you know. What do you know? Everybody needs a bucket. <laughs> Why did you run away? Why did you run away? That's it, everyone. Now we need to take action immediately, guys. Okay, bait is delicious food that a monster loves, but he doesn't have any for himself. I don't want to be bait. Besides, you know I'm not delicious at all. Oh, but you're just a, a fat guy. Huh, it makes you so yummy, so live with it. How's he gonna find out that I'm here? Well, first he'll smell you, and then he'll come out and eat you up. I mean, he'll try to, but we'll give him a treat from the bucket. George, I think I don't have any smell at all. Then how? Like this? Oh. No, no, not appetizing enough. Learn from me. Listen. Huh? That's outrageous! They won't let an old man sleep! There he is! There! Spill water on him quickly now, quickly! There you are, you naughty kids! Just you wait! Go away! Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I 
wish I were you. Look at me, I'm all wet. You know what I think? Maybe Grandpa Billy made noises in his sleep like this. Was he just snoring? <laughs> Hey friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. <laughs>